Yo guys, welcome back to my peak show video and uh, oh wow guys, it is it's very dark in here. Hold on, let me, let me fix that real quick. There we go guys, welcome back. Yes, new setup, new everything. Everything in my room is probably pretty, pretty much finished. I got my LED lights, everything is all set up. I even got myself a brand new webcam border here. It's kind of a rebrand to the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy the LED light background, makes things look cooler. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for new things to come. And uh, why not start things off here guys with a meme deck. now. It's gonna be a flying Pikachu deck. Complete memes, Pika, flying Pikachu. It's a, it's not a good card, but we're gonna try to make it funny and good today. Of course, we're gonna be revolving around Thunder Shock and Fly. Both attacks are pretty annoying. We got one that can paralyze and one that can make Pikachu immune. We're also gonna be playing ADP. Now, ADP in expanded, in my opinion, is not as problematic as in standard because Pokemon Ranger counters his heart card pretty hard. Most decks play Ranger, but we are playing ADP to do more damage, take more prizes with flying Pikachu. We also have Electro Power on top of that and Hustle Bell Rainbow Energy. So this thing can hit like a truck and be pretty annoying. All while the fact that it is a 40 HP Pikachu on balloons. It is a meme. Now this was actually just me on my Patreon. And um, yeah, finally got around to making the video on this deck. Because this is just a hilarious archetype. The guy who suggested, uh, definitely a creative idea. So shout out to the person who suggested, I forget your name. But thank you for suggesting this deck. Um, if you leave a comment or whatever, I'll pin you your comment. Anyways, so yeah, before the video, guys, go check out our sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCO pack codes, make sure to get them over at Card Cabin, guys. Card Cabin is selling codes for the cheapest on the market. So if you're still looking for any set codes, get them over at Card Cabin. If you're looking for Champions Path codes, Darks and Blaze codes, Team Up codes, or you guys want to pick up Vivid Voltage codes when they go live, if Card Cabin will have the theme decks, the pack codes, the pre release kit codes, the ETB. Uh, vivid voltage codes they'll all be over at card cabin if you get any codes over at card cabin guys make sure to use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase it really helps channel help stuff out and helps out card cabin too shout out to card cabin guys check them out and make sure to use code ldf if you get any codes over there so let's take a look at the list here so again this was suggested to me on my patreon again shout out to my patreon if you guys want to play two dollars a month to get access to exclusive content you can check out my patreon so the way to support the channel if you so please to but yeah this is the list um, yeah, we're just gonna be memeing with Pikachu. We can make it do a lot of damage thanks to ADP, Electro Power, and Hustle Belt. So we have Thunder Shock for a single energy. You can do 10 damage. Flip a coin if heads, your point stack is now paralyzed. We can, you know, Victini to try to reflip that. And we also have access to Fly here. When we go with a double colorless energy, we can go 30 damage. You flip a coin of Tails, this attack does nothing. But if heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to it. So then this thing is literally invincible. A tiny little Pikachu floating in the air on balloons becomes invincible when you get heads with Fly. And again, we can do more damage with the Power, Hustle Belt, and ADP. We have Victini here in the deck to reflip our coins too. Uh, so first of the deck, I got Shamans, and then we got Scoop Up Nets in here. Uh, we got Gumi in here. Another really cool Hustle Belt card is Gumi. Um, then we got a Drachi, another Scoop Up Netable card. Uh, no Dedenne or Crobat in here. Uh, mainly because you don't want to have too many uh, two prizers and three prizers in play. Like when you go ADP, that's why we that's why we have Scoop Up Cyclone because after the alteration, you want to just get the ADP off the board it's because it's a three prizer. One way your opponent can beat this deck is with Gust and uh, having you know Shamans and Jirachi and stuff in play. You know they can knock those out. So with Scoop Up now we can try to recover them. So if we have a Dedenne in play or a Crobat in play, they're just two prizes that can get picked off around our Pikachu, and then it's gonna suck. Going to the rest of the deck, we just have a ton of items. We got Electro Power, Field Blower, Quick Ball, Rescue Stretcher, Ultra Ball. Pretty straightforward stuff. I got a Special Charge, Tag Call, and get a Guzmahala and ADP. We got two Guzmahalas, two ADP, alongside the Double Drain Energies and the Float Snows. Try to get into a turn one Alter Creation. Uh, for Via Seeker, got a Shrine of Punishment for our Stadium, just to do extra damage with Pikachu. We get with Scoop Up Net, it's not really that big of a deal to play, you know, Shrine against our Pokemon. Then I got Cynthia, Guzma. Uh, Guzmahala and Juniper, just pretty straightforward supporters. Um, yeah, and we've got three DCs, four, spe or four rainbows, and two double drag energies to round up the list. Again, complete meme deck. It's going to be really funny to play this deck and see if we can troll some people and see how funny this Pikachu deck is. Oh man, it's going to be funny. So let's go try it out here in PC Joe and see it in action. All right, guys, getting into the first match here. Uh, we want to go second with this deck, I think. Should I get turn one Alter Creation? All right, let's see how it goes. Ooh, it's not going well so far. We got a lone. Shaman start here and a lot of supporters. I think honestly, we might have the Juniper here. I don't know. I might just Juniper and try to get my best chance to get in the ADP double dragon combo here. Now we'll see what we're playing against here. We're up against Turtle Eagle 49 with a psychic deck. So I don't know what this could be. Oh no, they're playing a dark deck. Alright, they're playing a dark deck, which we can beat. We do need to get you know stuff going. 
Uh, I really hope ADP doesn't get knocked out now. That's my only concern with the ADP here. It's like, we alter creation and then it gets knocked out. It's like, really, really sad. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if it's Dark Box or not. They get rid of a Guzma. Hmm, Guzma's annoying too. They can get around my fly attack. Uh, maybe I just end them? I don't really know. This hand is just so awkward. I wish we didn't have a billion supporters. <laughs> Okay, find Fairy Belt, that's fine. Hopefully they just pass here. They got a Shaman too, of course. Alright, we gotta hope for a uh, good top deck here to help us out. Oh, they play the Shaman Budrani cards. Sir, okay. Oh my gosh, what are, what? Why do I have to draw my supporters? Oh my gosh. It's annoying. And we didn't get the ADP. Alright, well. We did get it, but we didn't get the, uh, we can't do Guzma Hollow. We can take the ADP though and play it down. We have to waste this. We can shame in for four. Can we find the double dragon energy off of four cards? We'll scoop up net two to try to keep digging. Nope. We did not get it. That is a known fact. Alright, we're just gonna sky return, go into the sh I guess the Victini. That really sucks. Not getting the um not getting the double dragon there. Not ideal. We can try to go for it next turn. If we can get there. We gotta hope Victini lives a turn though. And I don't want ADP to get knocked out either. Ooh, they have laser. I guess well they could dead end me, right? No, dead end's only special conditions. Well, they do get heads on laser, which is pretty annoying. Now I can't move the Victini without a scoop up net. Um unless I wake up here, which would be great. Ah, field blur. I mean, the, sh the shrine would have been nice here because they do play a lot of GXs, but whatever. Okay, the elixir fails good. Will they knock me out here? They would have had a dead end knock on my ADP. Tech almost. Okay, can we wake up? Dude. Mm, laser, I swear. Can we draw a double dragon? No, we don't. I'm just going to Cynthia and just hope for the best. We got to get a scoop up that double dragon energy here. Can we get it? We very much do not. All right, we're just gonna get the Pikachu then, I guess. Let's try to get this set up. We got the double dragons in the deck. They're there. We need to find them. All right, this is fine. Now, I mean, next turn we get Juniper. It's on the end of the world. Oh, yeah, now you wake up, Victini. It didn't matter that we didn't have the uh, AC anyways. I mean, we need to do this soon. Like, if <laughs> we need to get this AC off next turn if we can. Let's see. I probably should have floated on the Victini, actually. Um, but they probably have a knockout, right? There's, I don't know. They got black market, bro. Oh my god, I have no way to bump that rip. So we have to use Guzma then, because I have no way to bump that black market. How many VSUs do we have? So we got uh, three left after this. Well, Marnie now. Hmm. Well, I guess like we still have Ultra Crate. We're still taking two prizes actually. It's not too bad, but we want to be able to just knock out two Pokemon to win the game. Like that Shaman, easy knockout for Flying Pikachu. So that kind of sucks. Like Shaman's an easy target for this deck. Uh, maybe we should play Target Whistle in here, honestly, for the Shamans. I wouldn't mind that either. Um, we'll see what happens. If Victini lives here, though, we can go for a scoop up net. Then we can go for the AC. Then we gotta hope ADP doesn't get knocked out by Dead NGX. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. All right, no knockout. Nice. Let's see, how we draw. Field blower. Okay, we'll scoop up another Victini. It's gonna bring in the ADP. We're just gonna go for it. It's gonna go for it. We'll quick ball here with the E power. Sucks that I'm losing these E power, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we'll get another flying Pikachu. And we'll Shaman. Can we find the double dragon or the Guzmahala? We do. Okay, nice. All right, cool. We got the AC off. Uh, we are stuck in the active. Uh, we can retreat or go for ultimate ray, though. But then we can't attack with Pikachu. So I don't know. We need to get Floatstone or Scoop Up Cyclone here. We still have the Scoop Up and the Float. Actually, I don't know if the Scoop's in the deck or not. I mean, we can't just ultimate ray knock them out, obviously. They might just have the laser here again. Um, which is bad if they do, because then they can just gust. But we'll see if they have the laser or not. I mean, if not, we're going to go for fly. Okay, they have a boss. I am totally fine with that. It's actually really good they didn't knock out the Pikachu, actually, because we're going to go for the fly here. 
All right, let's go. We could knock them out with Ultimate Ray, I guess, too. I mean, Ultimate Ray just seems like the better play, obviously, but that's, like, too good. So we're just going to go for Pikachu. They play Boss and Guzma, because of course they do. Okay, this hand is a little sus, not going to lie. Yeah, we're just going to go for the Pikachu. This is all it's the Pikachu show, not the ADP show. Plus, I don't want to use ADP. I don't know. Maybe we should. I don't really know. All right, we get a Via Seeker. We can Cynthia here. A lot of energy in her hand, which is good for us, but not good. Probably going to maybe play the Quick Balls, actually, in the deck. Let's see if we get Hustle Belt here. We do, indeed. And we also get the Scoop Up Cyclone, which we are going to play on the ADP. Get that thing out of here. And we're going to go for Fly. Uh-oh. Okay, good. How much are we doing? 150 damage. They got 20 HP left. So now Pikachu's immune. Now they need another boss. They have only played one via Seeker, though. So I'm not liking the odds of Pikachu living here. Or not getting knocked out. We did get the ADP off the board, though, which is what we want to have, though. Not in place so that we don't have to worry about it getting knocked out. There's a Quick Ball. They have Darkrai. For Shaman again. They're going to keep digging with Shamans. Ideally, though, if we can find Guzma here, we can just Guzma the Shaman and knock it out. Shaman does give up three prizes and it can't use Black Market. We have a Guzma the Discard. So we need to find one of our Viva Seekers to pull that off. They could... Can they laser me? It's all effects of attacks, right? Yeah, they could laser me again. That could happen, actually. They could laser me if they want. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. We do want to knock out these shamans, though, to win the game. Because the black market's in place. I think we just got five V-Seeker. We get V-Seeker here. We can just go for double fly. I want to get energy, too. We'll goose Mahala here, I think, for a... Uh... We'll goose Mahala for the uh, rainbow energy. We'll see what they decide to do. Hopefully they don't have another laser. Something I'm worried about is they can laser get heads again. Probably, most likely they would. Nope, they're just gonna dark cleave. Pikachu is immune. That's the meme. No, oh, there's a DC top deck. Um, um, we don't really need to lose Mahalo right now. What could we do? Oh, we can Jirachi, or we can shame it again with Stretcher next turn. It's actually, yeah, let's play the Goose Mahalo here. Yeah, let's just play it. Oh, we only have one via Seeker in the deck. So we have two prized. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Right, I'll keep the other Guzma Hollow just in case. Just in case we need it. Okay, it's month in the deck out a little bit. Um, fly, hope to get heads. Let's go. We're invincible. All right, we're getting two prizes here thanks to ADP's AC. So hopefully we get the via Seekers. There we go. What else? Okay, ADP. All right, we're immune. We're chilling. Pe the big, the big Pikachu troll is chilling. And then next turn we can, we just got via seeker the shaman knock it out. We might get the other via seeker the prize and via seeker one more time knock out that shaman. Uh, we could go through this Greninja's Orc though too if we really want to. It's tempting to actually just attack this thing. Uh, we're only doing, uh, we're only doing 120 I think though, right? We got 60. Yeah, we're only doing 120 here. No, they got a gust. They got a gust. They can knock out Victini, and then we don't have our reflip attack. We still knock out the Shaman, though, so it's actually not that big of a deal if they knock out Victini. Without a few damage modifiers, they can't even knock out Shaman here. I don't know what's going on. They get rid of Dark City and Dark Ride Prism Star. <laughs> Interesting combo. Hmm. This can be a close game, though, for sure. Definitely gonna be close. I mean, they have a three card hand. They have no room for Shaman or Dedenne or Crobat. So I don't know what their game plan here is. I don't know. Are they gonna, what are they gonna knock out? They're gonna knock out the other Pikachu? That's fine. We'll just stretch her back, I guess. What? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Thank you for the free knockout. Wait, what? Okay, my opponent really, I don't know why would they, why would they would do that. Okay, let's do this for another uh, Victini. You know, why would they uh, Why would they do this? We, they just gave us a free knockout. And now we have a Seeker in hand to win the game. That was not a very smart move. I don't know why they would just give me a Shaman for free. And we get heads. Oh my gosh. Flying Pikachu is invincible. Yeah, I'm only doing 120. Yeah, see, Flying Pikachu, bro, it's invincible. Can we get the last Via Seeker here to help us out in case we end to one? Let's see. Nope, Via Seeker is our last prize. Yo, the invincible Pikachu deck. Looks like it's going to beat this uh, dark deck. Let's see what they got, though. 
Invincible Pikachu. You love to see it. This man, the big memes. Honestly, we could do Thundershock too instead of Fly, but Thundershock, or Fly does more damage, right? But I don't know. Thundershock makes it so they can't just like got boss here, but our boss, right? But they do have Guzma, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we have game next turn. They have to, they have to end me here. They have a two card hand. Oh, they have another Shaman. All right, rip. I was going to say, they have a two card hand. What are the chances they get an end? Well, do they even play end? They have Marnie and Research of all cards. They could Marnie me into my other Via Seeker that I have in my deck. If they do Marnie me here. And we can't even get knocked out this turn. Like, they have to go with another Gust card. They probably have another Via Seeker. They've only played, what, two? So we'll see. Ooh, they could Night Spear here. Yeah, I don't why they should be building. They could Night Spear me, actually, and knock out the other Pikachu. They should have went for Night Spear here. That would have been a really good play on their end. Are oh, they going to Dazzle Machine? Okay, they can do another boss. Another Gust. They're going to get a Field Blower. That does not help you. You should have gotten a Gust. My, does my opponent not know how, you, how to play against this deck? I guess, I guess that's, like, one of the advantages of playing Flying Pikachu is, like, your opponent has no way, like, they don't know what they're doing. Just, why would you Field Blower? What was the point? You're not damaging me. All right. Well, that's game. Uh, we are doing 60 damage with the fly here with ADP, which means that we are one-shotting Pikachu or Shaman here in one hit with fly. Let's go. Oh, dude, the busted heads, bro. Well, we don't have to worry about reflipping. That's three heads in a row. You love to see it. Flying Pikachu taking a dub. Honestly, chasing those Shamans there might be the best play this deck can do, to be honest with you. I kind of like that. All right, guys, probably gonna do one more game with this deck here. Um, I just literally got finished recording my, um, or not recording, sorry, streaming that Limitless Journey I played with the Trevnor deck. So I'm a little burnt out right now, not gonna lie. My voice is a little gone from all the talking. So uh, we'll see how long this game will end up being. I don't know why um, the webcam is so blue here, but whatever, anyways. But yeah, this is, uh, we'll see how this goes with the Flying Pikachu Tech W deck. We'll see if we can actually good with it here my opponent's gonna make me go first which is fine they don't know what i'm playing which is a good thing right they don't know that i'm playing a complete meme deck here so we'll see how we uh get going okay if we can get a uh, way to find a like a draw card here this hand's pretty good we got the turn to ac which is pretty nice um see what we're playing against my opponent's taking quite a while to flip the coin over but we'll see flying pikachu can we meme on it we memed on it the first game can we do some more memes this game? I'm excited to keep playing this deck, though. This thing is completely hilarious. I also really like the artwork on this Pikachu. All right, beautiful. Good top deck. Um, Not much else to do. I mean, I just pass attach. Not much else to do there. We'll see what kind of fire deck this is. This could be, could be a Charizard VMAX deck. We'll see. They do get to go with that flare starter, though. Unless they somehow whip the uh, Pokemon here. We'll see. The only issue, I guess, this turn, we didn't get it. Th maybe we actually could have went Shaman there. Yana, yeah, maybe we should have went Shaman there because we probably want to get energy for Thundershock. We can go Thundershock fly, though. Oh, they're playing a Mewtwo deck. Okay. That's kind of bad. They can use a Double Blaze or Flare Blitz on my ADP and knock it out. I have a Welder turn one, too. That's not good. They actually attach to the Zard, which is interesting. Okay. Well, Guzma all the way our top deck, I think. I do want to get a shrine down too, I think, here too, right? So let's see what we draw here. Stretcher. That's a good discard. So we can go Guzma Hala. Away these two things. Shrine. DD. And we'll take a float stone too. Maybe we can actually quick fall with a float stone. I wouldn't mind that either. Uh, we'll go here. Well, I guess if we Shrine, they could knock me out with Flare Strike, I guess, maybe. I mean, I think no matter what, we're getting knocked out here, right? I think we just want to... But we can hold the Shrine, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. All right, we'll Quick Ball. Go Shaman. Yeah, we'll just... We'll do everything. I guess we could have got rid of the Hustle Belt. But I want to keep the Hustle Belt in case of a Field, uh, field Blower. Shaman here. Okay. We got the Rainbow Energy for next turn. And Victini. We have a Scoop Up Net too. Alright. I think we just AC here. And we just hold the hand and hope they don't knock me out. If we don't get knocked out here, we can Float Stone into the Pikachu and go, go with the Thundershock. We can, I guess we could try to end Thundershock them. We don't have an end just yet. Though. We could maybe like end Thundershock them. 
I would actually mind playing an Ace Trainer and more ends in here, though, to be honest. That could be pretty good. We'll see what my opponent does here, though. Yep, they have a Switch, Rip. But do they have a Welder? They don't. Actually, so we're not going to get knocked out here. The only problem is the Shrine Ticks will knock us out. Big Charm. Two Big Charms. And a Nest Ball. We still have our Fuel Blower, though. Pokey gear, okay. What are they getting here? They get they fail it. Ooh, that can make this paralysis a lot stronger. Okay, living the turn is huge. Now we need to scoop up Cyclone this or bump their stadium. But I want the stadium to stick, so I don't know. Oh, there's a field blower. So we can get rid of the stadium here. I don't know. I kind of want to keep the stadium in play. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we can get rid of the, the the shrine. It is good to have though for that damage. I don't. I honestly kind of just feel like letting the shrine stick. Like I don't mind it. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna have the shrine stick. We're. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. We'll find out. I guess. We could have ultimate raid them too. I guess too. So let's just get. Uh. We can actually get another Pikachu here and put the other hustle belt on it. This can save us a card. We'll scoop up net. I don't even know if scoop cyclones in the deck. Uh, maybe we should get rid of the shrine. I don't really. We'll find out what we get here. Okay, Victini. We'll Cynthia here and hope for a shrine of punish or a uh, scoop up. Did not get it. Okay, rip. We also didn't get a DC. We do have Goose Mahala though. So let's go for the Thunder Shock. The shrine tick is going to be a little annoying here, so that's not good. We do get head, so they are going to be paralyzed, which is good. And they want to try fly him next turn. Now, I mean, this 10 damage, though, is really good for us. Like, I actually really like this this Shrine Tick. It just can't move the ADP. Ah, oh, we'll see. We can always end them. It's not the end of the world. Poke Gear, please don't be a Guzma. Bru a Mallow and Lana off of a Poke Gear. Are you... Oh, my goodness. That is so sus. Well, their hand's gonna be completely dead now, which I guess is fine, but that is super bad. So we need to try to, we need to go fly here. Let's see where they put the energy. Okay, they're in top deck mode, but they're gonna get two prizes if we don't bump the shrine. Let's see, we draw. Okay, via Seeker. So we can go Cynthia here. Go we'll Quick Ball away the Pikachu. For another Shaman. We do have the scoop up in the deck, it is there. Yeah, let's just do one card. Dang, that was a that was such a sad pokey gear. Didn't get much there. Didn't get a DC or anything, which I was hoping for. It's only one card, but it could be good. Come on, one card, one time. E power, we'll take it. What the Cynthia? We have to draw. I wish I don't know. Now I regret not getting rid of the shrine, to be honest. But these ticks are so good to have. I don't know. Can we get the scoop up in the DC? We don't get the D we don't get the scoop up. We do get the DC though. So at the very least, we can try to fly knock them out here and be immortal. Or immune. Immortal. What the heck? Alright, we can take the knockout. We got two prizes. Everybody's gonna got a tag team to win the game. So it's not that big of a deal. They are gonna get an ADP free at three prizes here, which is a little annoying. But they can't damage my Pikachu. It's all good. Our Pikachu is immune, so it's not that bad. And we can always end them too, right? And and in Thunder Shocker and in Fly is a really good combo. And like three prizes, is, it's a bit to work with. Like that could definitely help them out, but they've already played two welders and two Pokey Gear. So who knows what'll happen. Well, they might actually be able to double blaze through my Fly. That'd be pretty bad. Ooh, they get the counter stadium. One turn too late for us. I don't think they would have bumped it anyways, even if they had it, because they don't want to obviously, they want ADP to stay damaged. See what they got. There's okay, they got a heat energy making it harder, and they get a bill. So we can end them to two and thunder shock them. Let's we'll see what they get here off this bill. Do they get anything useful? Yeah, they can double blaze through my fly. So I guess we gotta try a thunder shock and end to two and hope for the best. They get a double switch. Well, there goes my thunder shock play. Are they gonna play the switch actually? I don't think it matters if they do, obviously. That means they do have two switch in the deck. Oh, they're gonna outrage. That was a misplay because that does not actually. They actually, I think they had a double blaze knockout there. 
That's good. So they have two switch. So I think we just fly and just hope for a double head. No, uh oh. Okay, let's go. The memes. I guess we could have electro powered maybe to do more damage. We can always hold the hand. Their hand is literally two switch and then a mystery card. That's game. E <laughs> the Pikachu memes. The Pikachu memes. Let's go. And we get heads to knock them out. You'll love to see it. Actually, I think we... Do we have Game of Thundershock? We might have had Game of Thundershock there. I don't know. It is what it is. We got four prizes. ADP, Pikachu, the memeiest of all memes. All right, I'm gonna wrap today's Pikachu video here, guys. Again, I'm gonna leave it a bit shorter with these two matches. We got some packs open up. All right, we got some stuff. We we can open up some packs here. We're big chilling. But yeah, I'm gonna end off the video here with these two games again. I just finished live streaming, so I'm already a little burnt out. Um, I didn't expect to get that far in that uh, in that tournament with Trevor, to be honest. But getting ninth place was pretty sick. Um, so I think we did gotta turn off the meme. I mean, you get the idea, right? You fly. You do some crazy things. Let's open up some Darth Blaze packs. Try to get some Crobat Full Arts or extra Crobat Reg Arts. Wouldn't mind some Crobat Full Arts, though. Crobat has been going up. Crobat, great investment. What are we getting? We got a Pink Urchin. We got a Reverse Feebas, which I'll actually take. Now I have four of these. Now I can play a playset when I play a new Miloctic deck in the future. We'll see. Maybe Miloctic Colossal. All right. All right. Crobat V. Copper Raja. I mean, it's a hollow. I'll take it. Uh, we could open up one more. We'll open up a Champion's Path pack, too, I guess. We'll open up one more pack and then run off the video here, guys. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for the Flying Pikachu ADP deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the meme image today. I had some fun playing this wacky deck. It's pretty hilarious to meme on people. Look at that. We got a full art Galarian Curse. You'll love to see it. But yeah, Flying Pikachu ADP. Not a competitive deck, obviously, but a pretty funny meme deck. If you're looking to just troll some people, play some Flying Pikachu, guys, with some ADP. I don't know what I would really change about this list, to be honest. Maybe play, like, an Ace Roll or an AZ for the ADP, I guess. But other than that, yeah, I'm pretty content with how this deck played. It was a funny deck. Flying Pikachu for the win. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed today's P show video, guys, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, too. Help me on the road to reaching 12,000 subscribers. We're getting very close to 12K. We're... I think we just passed 11.5k. So if you guys want to help me reach 12k subs, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, guys. Have a good day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow uh, for another video. Bye-bye.